I'm Ben Weiss, and I sold my business for over $1.7 billion. I created a drink called Buy, which turned out to be my $1.7 billion big break. I'm proof of the American dream. Now, my purpose is to find the greatest entrepreneurs in America and help turn their idea into the next billion dollar idea. Okay, can I just make something clear here? Ben Weiss, when he first started, had car tables out on the street giving people free <laughs> tastes of his drink. He started at the very bottom. Billion dollar idea is now the latest addition to the FBN Prime lineup and billionaire businessman Ben Weiss is searching for the next big billion dollar idea. Here he is joining us in studio. Welcome to the Fox Business Team. Well, thank you for having me. Liz. We're thrilled to have you here, but I love this story idea. And tell me, is it like a game show? How does it work? Is it like, yeah. you know, you, you get ideas and you see which ones smell good and taste good? Well, I wouldn't call it a game show. It's basically the search for the next big billion dollar idea and the entrepreneur behind the idea. Mm -hmm. Because as you know, and you and I go back, I mean, it's as much about the entrepreneur as it is about the idea. But what's great about the show is that it takes me to 15 cities to see 15 entrepreneurs. I literally knock on their door. They meet me for the first time when I knock on the door. Uh, I get to meet their idea. I get to meet them. They take me into their basement. I get to meet their families. because. Make no mistake, the families go on these journeys with you, and you need that support. You need to dream alongside your loved ones. And I determine, of the 15, I choose six to come back to my basement, which is this underground speakeasy in Trenton, New Jersey. And it sits underneath <laughs> my new entrepreneurial company called Crook & Marker. And in the basement in New Jersey, they get to compete with challenges that are based on my book, Base Mentality, that really measures, measures their mentality, their ability to usher an idea to market when quite frankly nobody cares. When nobody cares and, and everybody's saying no or this isn't going Constant to work. Constant rejection. Constant yeah. rejection and you sat in your basement for years whipping up by and making it happen. What is that special something that you look for in both the entrepreneur and the idea? I mean have you met a great entrepreneur who has a stinker of an idea? Yeah, I'm one of them. I've had them. <laughs> <laughs> I've failed as much as I've succeeded and I'd rather have the, the great entrepreneur than the great idea. Because okay. ideas come and go. Let's look at uh, one of the first episodes here, and I want our viewers to listen. It's entitled The Dripper, The Painter, and The Poop <laughs> Stick Maker. Here it is, one of the billion dollar ideas. Take a look. And that's your biggest hurdle is that people look at this as an overpriced paintbrush. Greg is proving that he can be a disruptor, that he can be a great candidate to wipe out the competition in hardware stores across the globe. I'm ready to paint. It's going to walk against your hand. Hey, look wow. at that. But listen, this could be a paintbrush that the majority of painters are just not going to pay extra money for. And that could be a big potential drawback. Okay, so I really am just, that is really cool. It's effortless. Yeah. I got to be honest with you. And I am working right now with a bad wrist. Okay, freeform paintbrush. What about this did you love? I loved his why. He had a strong why. Matter of fact, I don't even know if he realized how strong his why was, and you'll, you'll see it on the show, but for me, every great journey has a beginning, a middle, and an end. You need to understand why you're about to take on whatever you're taking on, the sacrifices that you're going to take, and there's got to be a strong reason for, for doing that. He has that. He also has a business that's actually working, and it makes sense. What about Dripsy and Poopstick? Do I even want to know? Well, Poopstick has a very large addressable market, which is, which is working for him. Uh, Dripsy uh, is trying to reinvent, you know, the strainer. And the question is, does the world need a new version of a strainer? And how, did, how does something like that, which I don't know what the price point is, but a couple of bucks, yeah. turn into a billion-dollar idea? Uh, you'll have to tune in and find out. Oh, there you um, go. Like I said, it's about the entrepreneur as much as it is about the product. And I think that this show is going to really stimulate people who are watching to say, you know what, if these people can do it, so can I. Liz, 5.4 million new businesses registered in 2022 on the other side of the pandemic, 25% more than 2019, which was the high watermark. And a lot of these people that are doing this don't even have college degrees. So I think that, you know, what I've bring to the table is I think they relate to me. I think being tenacious, audacious, and obsessive about your product can get you out of the basement into a billion dollar exit. I discovered you. You were on my show. 
many years ago with you Buy. Did. It was brand new. And then, of course, check out my podcast because I interviewed Ben more than a year ago. Congratulations. We're so excited that you're part of the team. I appreciate you. Listening. Ben Weiss, the, company, the show is called Billion Dollar Idea, debuts tomorrow night, second season of FBN Prime. It all gets started tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern. Watch How America Works with Mike Rowe, followed by My Dream Car with Danielle Trotta at 9 p.m., only on Fox Business. We are coming right back. Twitter's still up about 5.9%.